Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWide. In this video, I will show you how to connect your Google Sites to a custom domain. Right now, I am using a free domain of Google Sites. I will show you. So this is a free domain provided by Google Sites. I will show you my website. So this is my website which I created in Google Sites. Now I will show you how to connect this site with a custom domain. So I have a custom domain of a big rock. So this is a domain name which I am going to be use taveshijam.in. So let's start the process. Open your Google sites. Now click on setting. Now click on custom domains on the left side. Then click on start setup. So I already have a domain. So I will choose the first option, use a domain from a third party Then click on next. Now enter your domain name. So this is a domain name which I'm going to be used. So I will copy my domain name and paste it here. And you can see first you have to verify your ownership. So click on verify your ownership. This is Google Webmaster Center. This tool is going away soon. Manage your verification tokens directly in the search console. So click on this option search console. This is Google search console website. One important thing make sure you have login with the same account in Google search console and Google sites. Now on the left side add property drag down then click on add property option now you have to enter your domain name here so i will enter my domain name then click on continue verify domain ownership by dns record so this is my domain name now you have two options txt or cname record so i will go for cname record okay now you have to add these two records in your domain service provider dns records so i am using big rock click on dns records now you have to add a cname record here so just click on cname now go to your search console now copy the host cname host copy this address go back to big rock now paste it here now again go back to search console copy the second destination address go back to big rock paste it here now in the ttl select two hours that's it now click on save record cname record added successfully so this is my cname record which i added after adding the record in dns column cut this window and refresh your big rock page it will update the records again click on dns records click on cname wait for few seconds and this record is showing now go back to search console then click on verify and you can see ownership verified successfully then click on done so your owner verification has been verified successfully one important thing whenever you add a record in dns always refresh the website to update the records now cut this window go back to your google sites now you can cut this tab this search console tab cut this now go back to google sites again go to the custom domain option i will show you go to the settings click on custom domains click on start setup third party next enter your domain name
and you can see the blue tick it's done owner verification has been successfully done now click on next now you have to add another CNAME record so open your big rock tab then click on DNS records now click on CNAME now open your Google sites copy this www and paste it here now copy this address copy this and paste it here in the TTL select two hours then click on save record record has been added successfully you can see record has been added now your next step will cut this window refresh your big rock page this is most important always refresh your page after adding any record in dns column now again click on dns record to cross check and you can see the cname record has been added successfully now go back to the google sites after adding the record click on done custom domain has been signed this is my custom domain added successfully now cut this window now click on this option site link and my new custom domain has been added now copy this URL and I will check currently the domain name is not live you have to wait for around one hour so I will pause this video so after waiting for 20 minutes now my domain name is live I will show you again this is my domain URL and you can see my domain name is live and it's working fine so this is how you can connect your Google sites with a custom domain of Big Rock. And now I will show you how to enable domain forwarding. So this is my Big Rock portal. Now click on this domain forwarding option. Click on enable. So this is my domain name. Now I want to forward this domain name to this complete domain name with www so i will paste it here so if someone try to open my domain name without www this option will forward it to this url click on save to save the changes and domain forwarding is enabled as you can see domain forwarding has been enabled so this option will take around one hour to go live. So this is how you can enable domain forwarding in Big Rock. So this is all for the video. Thank you. Thanks for watching TechWide. Have a nice day.